the Mississippi, an icon of America running almost the entire length of the country, as impressive as it ever was. This was the river that helped build the United States. It made possible the giant agricultural expansion of the 19th century and is still a crucial artery of industry. Only from above do you get an impression of the scale of man's impact. This is less than 70 kilometers from the ocean. Huge plants flank the banks. There are chemical, gas and steel companies. There's a lot going on down there. There's pollution, dredging, channeling, oil exploration. There's loss of land in a big way. Throw in global warming, and you've got a pretty perilous cocktail. The combined effect of all this has created a dead zone, nearly 10,000 square kilometers of ocean where nothing lives. All the farming activities in the central US use a lot of fertilizer. That fertilizer eventually gets into the Gulf of Mexico. Here, marine organisms love the nutrients, but in the process of digesting them, suck all the oxygen out of the water, and we end up with a dead zone that cannot support marine life. While many farmers are reluctant to change their methods, there are those who want to be part of the solution, not the problem. These days, Robbie Howard doesn't plough his land. He grows crops continuously, and that, he says, prevents sediments running off into the river. Since no-till was started 30-something years ago, they can see a drastic reduction in the amount of silt and chemicals, fertilizer, coming down the Mississippi River. But agriculture does have to take their fair share of blame. Downstream, another problem. North of New Orleans, a stretch of river some call Cancer Alley. Over 100 plants of heavy industry alongside mainly poor or minority neighborhoods. Residents say cancer rates in the area are above average. We were awakened by the smell. Sonia Thomas lives less than a kilometer from an oil refinery. When I opened the door, the chlorine knocked me back in. I fell back in. It scared me to death because it just took my breath away. And I ran in, I wet a towel, I wrapped it around my face and my mouth, covering my nose and my mouth. Companies say their operations are clean and safe. Loudspeakers like this one have been installed to warn of emissions. Sonia says it hasn't worked for months. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, New Orleans.